Barton of Law. Nine o'clock. Look at those babies. That's what I like to see. A little community yard sale. Pretty cute. Grand estate sale. Not listed. Let's go see what happens. Pretty cute. Look at a boy Gary's car. Jesus Christ. He just leaves the window open. I parked right next to him going to Flea Market here in Montgomery Village. But we'll see what happens. All right, y'all. Let's go over today's flea market slash yard sale pickups. Bullshit. You don't even call my team. This is the Commanders. <laughs> Vintage Commanders snapback. And I got a couple of these turtle toys. I got a little deal on them. They were only five bucks a piece. And I got them for like three bucks a piece, something like that. Uh... I have one more somewhere. I don't know where it is. Got my old man, DDP, and what does it say? I'm DDP. Get ready to feel the bang. Feel the bang. Bam. Got me a sealed copy of Sims Busting Out. I don't know why, but I did. PlayStation remote. Kind of cool. Got a whole box full of these brand new painter's pants. That was pretty cool. Got some cool little pieces. It's made in the USA. Button up. Let's look at the tag real quick. Head and chat. It's like one of those like rice bag garments. Pretty cool green bag. Pair of Carhartts. Pair of Nike Swish pants. And then probably the coolest find of today. Bow. Little blank line. Not bad. Not great. Tap out. South Pole. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. I got me a Dyson today. That's one of my, my big scores. A couple of toys. Pop-up parade. Tech deck. And my boy. Oh, yeah. Anakin. Mm. All right, y'all. So with the new acquisition of 7-Eleven in Japan, basically... There's gonna be a bunch of new items coming to American 7-Elevens. So with that being said, today I got one of the new items that we have in our local 7-Eleven. I saw they have like eight or nine new items. We're gonna try all of them, maybe at one time. We do got the nuggets today, and I will say they look like the driest things I've ever seen in my life. They are super cooked, but they look kind of all right. They look like some Purdue shit or something like that. It got a little bit of pepper on it. Got some ranch dipping sauce. E-man's walking around in the back. But yeah, let's go ahead and try this 7-Eleven chicken nugget, a little bit of ranch. Okay. So, that's 1,000% just the like Purdue chicken nugget in the bag you get from Safeway. Like, I don't hate it. Tastes like some shit I made at home. I guess it's, that's fine. Uh, probably like two out of five. <laughs> Not great. If you drink a little bit of tequila or medicated quite heavily, they might work for you pretty well. But I think in general, these are not good. I'm going to try one more. They're tough, bro. Real chewy. Like I said, two out of five. Only when you're drunk or fried. Yeah, probably not gonna eat all these, but another food review. Maryland, baby. Look how cool that is. Big old buck. Let's see if I can zoom in on him. Look at that. We're here. Y'all, somebody should make a music video or something all the way back there. Hell yeah, six o'clock, getting it out here. Flea market, by the mark station with the cool old lamps and stuff. You know what it is. You probably see me here four or five times now. All right, first round successful. Pair of Doc Martens. Five dollar pair of Coogees. Look at those. Those are pretty fucking cool. Some George Jack Daniels T-shirt and a big old Doritos varsity jacket. Let's go. And as you can see, round two is very successful. Bam. All right, so we're here at the homie's booth and I picked up another stack of beautiful jeans for the shop. 
I got that homie Fredo over here looking through things What's again, up, of course. Go visit him at his new shop in Columbia Mall. Finally Shout it out. Vintage. There you go. Finally Columbia Vintage, Mall. Columbia Mall. Over here at the homie. Looking through all really kinds of good shit. He's got some, some good stuff over here at the flea market on a beautiful hot day. We're dying. Look at my man. He's sweating. Ooh. Look at me. I'm sweating. I'm about to die. Yeah. <laughs> and round three is even better. Polo. Polo. More Coogee. Affliction. Truey. Truey. Polo. Debisu Kuji. Man, that thing is cool. All right, y'all. So we went out this morning, hit a couple yard sales and estate sales, and I got a little tiny clip, as you probably already saw, of the estate sale that I went to where I got everything that I got this morning, pretty much. I went to one yard sale before that I got something cool, which were these two matching Patagonia duffel bags, which are pretty cool. This is a small one, and I got the Big Mama. Patagonia, Big Mama. So that was cool. That was at the yard sale that I went to before the estate sale. But let me show you a piece that I think is pretty awesome that I got from there today. This. 90s reverse weave navy hoodie pretty cool nice little piece make a few dollars off of that thing and then if we come out here this is pretty interesting got some kurosawa prints bunch of stuff like this samurai stuff e-man in the back over there doing some work but yeah, that was pretty cool. And then a whole entire box full of anime DVDs. Most of them are dead stock, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, not a bad morning, not a great morning, nothing too crazy. Oh yeah, I forgot I also got some a vintage, not some, but a vintage Baltimore Orioles snap back as I dropped the other one. But yeah, kind of cool. Made in the USA. But yeah, not a bad Saturday morning, y'all. Look who I found. The homies. Look where we're at. Look who I got. Bethany's here again. Where are we at? Look at us. Good. The fair, baby. Sorry, man. Moco. Like, we out yeah. here. All right, first round of food we got. It's two fried Twinkies and then a sampler of a bunch of, what is it, tea? Do you remember what it was? It says Snickers, Reese's, Oreos, Milky Way, Three Mustard Tears, PB and J, and a Ding Dong. And a Ding Dong. And a Ding Dong. Oh yeah, you ready for that? I'll be here. Okay. <laughs> Second, as your other owls and raptors grow in number, they will prey on these. Great horned owls love barn owls. They will eat them. Hello, baby duckies. Look at my man here. Cool chicken. Oh, he's our cleaning. I see that start table. Look at him. He's a like in the Beatles or something. Is that Taylor Swift the chicken? And that's the dude from uh, LMFAO. Yeah, that's a, a fairly dated uh, <laughs> reference there, but so he got the the Rod Stewart hair. All right, uh, got another Bobby. one. Man, from the Beatles. Daddy, he's an All kinds of good lucky candies, but what y'all know about the candy deviled eggs? Good lord. Over here on the competition side, one of my favorite sections of the fair here in Moco. They got competition flowers. So many of them, too. Really cool. Competition winning flowers, though. How dope is that? And over here, they got local honey growers, all that kind of stuff. Love Maryland. What's the name of this? What is this guy? A burring owl? Oh, look how cute that dude is. Sleepy. Oh, that one's like turning its head around. Oh, yeah. I Opening day. And I was like, what? <laughs> the guys are like, what the fuck? 
Yeah. Look at my boy right here with that goblin face, little green goblino. What do you think about that, Javi? It's cool. It's cool. Yeah. No. What's that vest you're wearing? Nothing. Oh, okay. It's yeah. Renfest 2024. We're doing it again this year. There's only one thing left to say, and that is booked for adventure. Huzzah! <laughs> God damn it. He didn't even say it. You I fucking did, piece did, of I shit. Did, did. You suck. No, okay, you didn't. One more time. Nice jersey, bro. Woodson. Yeah, Woodson. Charles Woodson. That's bro. all he got. I do wish I had glasses. That would be awesome. Glasses? Yeah, it is so bright out. Yeah, bright. We have finally entered 2024. He's saying it over there. We back, baby. We back. Huh? Opening day. Yeah. I have an application, but I want you to use that knowledge. <laughs> All right, so we're at our first food stop of the day. We got yep. some hush puppies. My man's got some honey. He's got to put it on the hush puppy and try it out. Let's see what you think, brother. Yep. Hitting. Perfect. Yep. Perfect. Hell yeah. Doughy and sweet, crispy. Yep. With the honey on it. My man. First food of the day here at Renfest. Let's go. But it's cute, so I got it. It's cute. It matches. Little hot. Perfect. Can't wait to bedazzle it. Yeah. Bedazzle that. Alright, let's go. Somebody let's leave beside me for once. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> These things are so cool. This thing is cool. I'm gonna do a slow mo version too for sure. <laughs> Probably the most Maryland fest outfit you could wear. Hold on, what do you got here? My ye old bay. Old bay. Oh <laughs> man, this is awesome. Yo, thank you so much. What are we about to do, Aaron? Corn dogs. Corn dogs. Maybe some onion rings? Maybe. Maybe some onion rings. Maybe some, some funnel cake and some ice cream. Yeah, funnel cake and or ice cream. I would not be opposed to that at all. No man. No problem with that. Unlimited possibilities. All the possibilities. Got yeah. these two guys over here. I think you had B-more or something. You had an event that day. Fucking look. Look at that face. We out here. Only a face ball. Fucking chilling ball. right now. <laughs> <laughs> Philadelphia loves me too. That's right? true. Richmond yeah. Street. They do not love you. Love they do not welcome you. Philadelphia loves streets, me. Bro. Turkey leg. Meet it up. Yeah. Cheers, boys. Cheers. Meet it up. Yes. <laughs> Let's oh, fucking go. Oh, meet it up. Ah. You got an extra turkey leg. <laughs> Yo. He be faking like shit. First appearance on the vlog. <laughs> Alex. What's up? First time at Renfest. Came out here flexing with the off-white shades. <laughs> we about to get it in today. All the homies out here. This is what I'm talking about. Go get a beer. Go get it. Yeah. Yeah, show off. Now is that a bong or a bar now? Ooh. Okay, I got lucky there. Show us. Ooh. Oh, they can take off, Papa. <laughs> when you take a shower so it doesn't get wet. And then when you have to wash your hair, you use shampoo and conditioner. And what he said is advice. Coconut. Oh the arrival of E Man. Yeah, At the fucking run fest. Like I'm trying to hit you up. Let's go. You are here. 
Say hello to the vloggy, okay, man. So, so, so. Second year in a row. Yeah. The boys are all here. The team was walking up there, fucking wherever they went. They would, my favorite store, right there. Yo, the whole gang is here. Stop running, Harrison. Stop it. Turkey leg. Turkey leg. Who showed up? Look at that. Who's that? Who showed up? Elton showed up, baby. I'm down, I'm down let's fucking go. Is this like your first shit. vlog appearance? Your first time here? Yeah, yeah, let's fucking go. First time at RenFest, first vlog appearance. Boys, it turns up. <laughs> Listen, me and the boy came out here to support the homie Sir William. I don't know if you can see it, but yep. Team Sir William, baby. <laughs> we coming for him, bro. We coming for him. William! Sir William section. Sir Charles. Gang ganged up in this thing. We, we you know blew, what I'm saying? We have blue. Picture in photo. Or Just cinematic. Let's <laughs> take a video. <laughs> I'm about to kill a tequila. Yeah, I was like, I don't want to say anything. Oh, they were really much as well. Oh, no, that's fine. But they were right. I think everybody sat over there because it's actually, yeah. Sir, what are you? What is the king speaking? <laughs> I'm the king. king. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going to pull back to the 1800. <laughs> Alright y'all, so this year, I think we're just getting copper, Sir William's horse, I don't think we're actually getting Sir William, unfortunately, we came wearing Sir William's shirts, don't even get to see Sir William afterwards, but we tried, <laughs> hot dog on a stick, I thought that shit was going to have some bread, they said, huh, nah, put that fucking sausage in your mouth. <laughs> Alright y'all, end of day, 2024 at Renfest, really beautiful fucking time, I'm sure I got a bunch of clips. Sir William, lost. Not well, but see y'all next year. Love you. Currently got a wear it, find it moment here in the thrift store. Not bad. I'm never wearing an ass car, but fuck it. Pretty cool. Little pair of rock aware embroidered jeans. Solid. Yeah, this kind of day on my thrift store is no joke. Right the fuck? A little bit warm. So it's gonna get warmer tomorrow. Y'all see what time it is. 7.30 in the morning. Let's get it. Saturdays, yard sales, estate sales, free markets, whatever it may be. Let's fucking get it. Alright y'all, so the middle school flea market Hey, once again, nothing too crazy, but nice little brand new with tags. Modern Carhartt. Got me an OG Capitals crew neck, which is super nice and embroidered. And then two bags full of CDs for the shop. So, hell yeah. Another little flea market. Not much here, though. Records. Pretty cool place, definitely. Stuck in time. Alright y'all, we're in Philly, we're about to go to the homegirls effects workshop so my man can get his hand casted so we can get it chopped off for a film that he shot, so let's go beep it. Like that's his like little head and he gets decapitated. Yeah. Also here are the keys. Yeah. 
All right, we're at one of my favorite places in the world. Right in Terminal Market. Out here, Philly, baby. Beautiful day. Let's go get back. You're being a good, better vlogger than I am. Commercials, baby. It's the one. Should I get him the dead shirt since he's old? <laughs> Happy birthday! No, earlier he was like, he was like, so what? What are you doing next year for your 40th? Oh, that's great. Yum. My favorite sandwich in the world. The next baby. Trip store, baby. Best cheesesteaks in Philly. I don't want to fucking hear it. Okay. Folks, I already know. Let me see if I can promo on the road. Going to the homegirl space, you can universe. Let's see what our studio looks like. Super cute. Wow. Wow. Welcome. First vlog appearance. What's the Instagram? You can universe. Wow, there it is. Every once in a while, the wild cat's coming to the house. Look how cute she is over there. Rolling in the dirt. What you doing, nose? Rolling in the dirt. God damn, that's a fucking nice bike. Look at them fucking. Look how good that is. Fuck yeah, bro. I'm jealous. Hey. I can't lie. <laughs> I can always buy one. <laughs> you say you can always buy one? <laughs> no, no, I can't. No. Nice I'm way too reckless. I, I mean, but I feel like once you get on it, you realize you can't be reckless. Bro, I had, a, I had a scooter for the year, and I dropped that motherfucker. Oh. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. I'm not about to fucking invest. Like, this is so beautiful. I would want to get some of this, and just I wouldn't even want to ride it because I'd be scared. I'd just like, yeah, it's so fucking nice. I'm trying to take the time to ride it while I can before it's too cool. Yeah. Like, it's, right now, it's fucking gorgeous. Like, yeah, I, I would take... I live around, I used to be September drop. Uh, Got the homies. Josh here again, okay. of course, and all the homies over there. Everybody say hello to the vlog. Jeff, I know you want to say hello. Hey. There we go. <laughs> Big drop coming. You can see. Bunch of stuff covered over there. I got you. I got you. Ollie. Make her Bayfield. Ollie with the scooter. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, Let's go. Touchdown. Touchdown. Oh, hello. Touchdown. Let's go. They're talented. <laughs> All right, gotta crack these puppies open. Give the whole box away to some people online right now. What a nice community garden out here in Silver Spring, Maryland. Look at that. Big, beautiful, plentiful. Right here at the homie shop. Home court just sold them a bunch of things. I to go into DC. Let's go. And look where we are. Joy Custody again. One of my favorite stairs to come down. Do a little shot of yourself in the, in the camera again. What's up? There we go. <laughs> Walking here. See the homies, of course. <laughs> Alright, y'all. We have my favorite restaurant in DC. Alright, that's not true. Like, quick stop. Restaurant needs a Greek spot. Make sure you go visit them. It's a little history lesson, man. It's crazy. Like, if y'all watch this and you ain't from the DMV, you don't really know much, but like, 
this over here the gentrification of dc is insane because if you come right down here this is the famous u street in dc where a lot of like musicians and artists and stuff have like really came the fuck up and if you come over here to the left you see a really classic venue called the bohemian cavern and i think it's something different now it's called something fucking stupid it's called harlot but this is a historical venue this is where a lot of jazz artists came up played back in the day in dc right here on u street but yeah now it's some fucking dumb place called harlot where they just like drink a lot and shake their ass so yeah dc old school new school all mixed together but becoming way more new school uh, thank you free coffee and donuts over here man that's what i'm talking about all right little community yard sale at the pool. Damn, man, makes me want to go and take a dip. Yeah, that that's nice. <laughs> All right, so me and the homie divvied up what we found this morning. <laughs> Look at that shit. Ooh, Big banger yeah. right there. Complete in box, right? Complete? Complete. Yes? It is complete. Boom. Bam. Wow. And the disc is in good shape. Look at that. I got a couple things too, you see. You see, also complete and minty. Couple bangers, nothing too crazy, but good morning. Got a couple consoles. Can't be mad at that for 25 bucks a piece, right? Fuck it. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we got two more drinks to try today. As you know, I like to try me some new shit. So we got the Oreo Coca-Cola Zero and the Arizona Frost Chillzickle. I had to check on the name because I did not remember at all. Looks fucking amazing. So I think first we should try this Coca-Cola Zero Oreo. What? Yeah, like, it's, all right. It's weird that they would go, they would try to make Oreo and Zero, zero yeah, Sugar. I was looking for a regular time. one and yeah. I don't think they even make a regular one. I think it's only the Zero version of it. That's but, so strange. I want to get a whiff. I want to see if it smells like Oreos. Did you do the do this with the Beetlejuice Fanta? I didn't. I don't know why. I, I was with, I was thinking about grabbing the Beetlejuice Fanta, but I've already tried it and it's good. It tastes like apple cider. It's uh, weird. actually you know. Oh, oh, boop! It's right here. So fuck it. We'll do the Beetlejuice soda again, even though we both know what it tastes like. But we'll try it for you and just give it a little profile. <laughs> but go ahead. We'll, we'll leave it here and we'll try it. But Coca Cola Zero. It just smells like vanilla Coke for real, for real. But. Oh wow. Oddly, I think it may be the, the sweetener in it that makes it taste more like Oreos than a normal Coke would taste like. Damn. I can't really maybe I just don't drink um Coke Zero. Coke Zero enough to like be like, oh this tastes like Oreo. It just tastes like Coke. It tastes like Coke. It's like me. vanilla Coke kind yeah, of. Yeah, like a maybe like a slight vanilla. Yeah. I don't it's not it's not bad. I actually enjoy it to be honest. But um that's cool. I, I think, I'm, to me, it tastes like vanilla Coke or like a slight Oreo. Like after you like been to Oreo, you already chewed it and swallow it and you take like a sip of something afterwards. That's kind of what it tastes like. It's kind of like an after flavor. Um, I think that's a crucial thing to dust your tongue. Like, yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. Um, this, I don't know, it's probably been sitting out for a couple of days. <laughs> it feels warm. <laughs> yeah. But for you guys, Beetlejuice, Fanta, um, Haunted Apple. I think that tastes fucking awesome. Like it literally trans, like it transforms. I was gonna say transform. It like takes me to Halloween. I don't even know what I was gonna say. It transports me to Halloween. That's what I was gonna say. Instantly. This would be great with like rum or bourbon or something. Sure, hundred like percent. Like, not with tequila. We've already tried that. Not, with not good with tequila. Um, no good. Also added plus caffeine free, so that's cool. You know, I'm not gonna fuck you up. Uh, lots of sugar though, which doesn't make sense. How it's not caffeine free, so. <laughs> So the Beetlejuice Fanta is caffeine free and the Oreo sugar free. Sugar free. <laughs> um, I definitely like the Fanta a little more than the Coke, but I like them both. Um, now let's try the Arizona Frost Chillzickle. I'm actually really excited about this one. It just looks good, to be honest, and reminds me of like the popsicles from July Fourth, the firework ones. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's what the. It's... So it's just gonna have probably that kind of flavoring, where it's like a fruit punchy, blueberry-ish type thing or something. But okay. let's find out. Oh, Lord. 
Oh, well, I've never had that happen before. <laughs> I went too <laughs> far in. That's our, that's weird. Oh, it just smells like fruit juice. Oh, that's underwhelming as fuck. <laughs> like I taste just like watered down juice, like like Kool Aid where they didn't put enough sugar in it or something. Yeah, that's very very underwhelming, very confusing. I yeah. mean, all right. So if we're gonna, I, rate I don't them, I don't understand how the frost physical <laughs> comes in at all. It doesn't. <clears throat> I guess it tastes like maybe like a melted one or something like that, but <clears throat> cut very flat, very underwhelming. Not great. I think if we were to rank all three of these sodas, um, definitely number one for me would be the Beetlejuice. Number two would be the Coca-Cola Zero Oreo, yeah, and then number I three agree. being the this one's definitely the worst. popsicle for sure. Um, but very cool to try all three of them, and I'm glad that they're at least trying new things. And we're always going to try new shit as long as we care for you guys. So thanks for watching and checking out the uh, trying of the drinks. That's it for this episode, y'all. Thank you so much for watching, and make sure to follow us on Instagram at Scuff Store. If you have anything cool you want us to do, events, or any places you want us to come, definitely let us know. We'll try and make it happen. But please subscribe, drop a comment down below, like the video if you can. We'll see y'all soon.